Hi, this is just a quick follow-up video to show you the data locking capability of Unity's UT61E+. I had done a separate review of the meter earlier, and if you have not watched that video, please be sure to check it out. But if you recall, in that video, I was not able to get the supplied USB dongle working with my Linux PC. Afterwards, I tried a few times, but uh, it really was a hit or miss. Sometimes the dongle would be recognized, and sometimes it wouldn't. It may just be the compatibility of the CP2110 USB to UART bridge driver on Linux. But more importantly, perhaps, I was not able to get the meter to work with SIGROC, which is a real bummer, as I really like that open source utility quite a bit although I would have thought the protocol would be similar, if not the same, as the outgoing UT61E. Anyway, the meter does work well on Windows with the supplied software, so let's take a quick look. Here I have launched Unity's companion data logging software, and as you can see that once it's uh, connected, it will start logging continuously until it is stopped. Now, one key difference between the UT61E Plus and the previous 61E is that the data communication is actually bidirectional here. So, as you can see here, I can use the buttons here to control what is being displayed on the meter itself. And uh, I can do hold, I can turn on the backlight, I can turn it off. And uh, indeed, it's very, very useful in my opinion, especially when you are doing remote data logging. Of course, you can always change the sampling rate. Right now, it is set as uh, three times per second. Now, the three times per second, in my opinion, is the maximum you want to set it because the update rate on the meter itself is actually just about three times a second. But of course, you can also slow it down. Let's say we wanted to set it to one time per second. You certainly can. This is useful when you are logging data for a long period of time. Another functionality you want to pay attention is that we also have the capability to skip repeated data readings. So this, in my opinion, is also very useful, especially when you are leaving the application running for a long time and the data barely changes most of the time. So this will reduce the amount of data that you logged. So it appears that the software is actually quite well written and definitely augments the capability of the UT61E+. As always, thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up. I will catch up with you next time.